Circumference and the First Round Table, a Math Adventure by Cindy Neuenschwander, illustrated by Wayne Gehan. Long ago, in a land known as Camelot, there lived many knights and ladies. Their ruler was a mighty but gracious man named King Arthur. During many years of peace and good harvest, the people lived happily. The trouble began when the army of their neighbors to the north began gathering at the border. These people, known as the circumscribers, might be preparing to make war. King Arthur called upon his bravest and most trusted knights to plan what to do. So remember, this is a math adventure, so you're going to hear some words that might sound a little bit different. Circumscribers is one of those, so we might find out what that word means in the, a math way. So we get to be kind of word detectives on this adventure. The knights rode as fast as they could to Arthur's castle. Circumference lived nearby, so his family came with him. Circumference was married to Lady Di, who came from the town of Amateur. They had one son named Radius. Radius was very small and quite young. But what he lacked in height and age, he made up with his keen mind and boundless energy. Remember, we're, there's some more math names in there. Circumference, die, and radius. After the first day of meetings with all the king's knights, Circumference sat with Lady Die. Oh, he groaned, my throat hurts. I have to shout to be heard at the other end of that long rectangular table. Everyone has to. The king is very upset. Why don't you fix the table? Suggested Lady Di. How can we do that? Circumference asked. Well, said Lady Di, you could cut it in half. Look, here's a drawing of the table. It has two long sides and two short sides. If you cut it in half and put the two halves side by side, you will have a table with four equal sides. Oh, there's a picture. If you have 20 feet and 5 feet and you cut it in half, then you'd have 10 and 10 because you add them together. Hmm, this is a fun adventure. Lady Di, what a good idea, Circumference called for the carpenter, Geo of Metri. Geo began work immediately. That's another math word. The next day, the new table was ready. Everyone commented on the wonderful square shape. However, another problem arose. At each corner of the table, the knights whispered to each other while someone else was talking. Sir Galahad exclaimed, King Arthur, how can we meet to discuss a solution when people talk secretly to each other? Sir Galahad is correct, King Arthur responded. We have come here to talk of defending our land against the circumscribers, not to talk in secrecy. After the meeting, King Arthur told Circumference a new table was needed. That night, Circumference told Lady Di about the problems with the square table. Lady Di thought a moment and said, hmm, what if we cut the square table diagonally? We could put the two halves together like this to make a short diamond shape. So cutting it and make a diamond shape. Do you think that will fix the problem? What's your prediction? This is a good bit book for that we can learn two reading skills. One is about predictions. We've been talking a lot about those. Um, which you have, if you haven't um, listened to other stories, a prediction is, I guess, about what you think is going to happen based off of the information that we know already. So what do you think will happen with this table? Do you think it will work and solve their problems or no? And then another thing with this is that we get to be detectives because they're using plays on math words. And we get to figure out, aha, uh -huh, is that part of the math problem that we're going to find out later? And we'll figure it out one clue at a time. She drew a diagram and said, the king could sit at one end and you could sit at the opposite end. Everyone would be close enough to hear, but the knights would not be in any tight corners. After seeing the plan, Circumference agreed that it was a good idea. Geo the carpenter said, in carpentry class, they called this shape a parallelogram. I will have the table ready by tomorrow. Parallelogram, there's another new word for our detectives. See if you can figure out what it is. So this is another thing. Okay, context clues. We've talked a little bit about those in previous stories. So that's when you get kind of information about what that tricky word means by the other words and information around it, okay? So parallelogram is going to be one of those that you might get a little bit of a clue about by the shape and the way that it works. So pay attention. The king let the knights have jousting practice and sword play while he spoke with circumference. Circumference, I am sorry. Though the new table solves some problems, the diamond point sticks into me like an enemy sword. We need a table where we can think about ways to prevent a war, but this table makes me feel like fighting. Can you fix it? 
I will do my best, sire, said Circumference. That afternoon, he stood by the field and watched the others joust. It was a beautiful day with blue skies and flags flapping in the breeze. Sir Gwain's flag was blue with a white cross. Sir Lancelot's flag was green with lions, and Sir Tor's flag was green with an eagle. The flags were all similar in shape. They were all triangles. That's it, said Circumference, a triangle table. Circumference called Geo and explained. Geo said, if we cut the parallelogram table in half, that would leave two triangles. One triangle might be too small. Okay, so you see the triangles there if they cut it in half. And the parallelogram, so can you see that one is running the same direction as that one. It's parallel to that one. And this one is parallel to that side. They run just the side, same. They could just kind of go on forever. Those could, and that's the parallelogram. And then you see the triangle is the shape. So now we know that two triangles put together can make a parallelogram. Hmm, interesting. When they measured the proposed triangle table, they realized that four people could not fit on each side. Geo, let's think some more, said Circumference. We want to discuss shapes with Lady Di. Yes, said Lady Di. I can see that the triangles would be too small, so cut off the corners like this and make an octagon. Look, it will solve the problem. Octagon, there's another new word. These are all geometry words. Did you notice the one person's name was geometry? So this author really likes to be like, uh, kind of like a detective, but he leaves little clues about what the story's about, what people's jobs are based off of their names. They're all kind of like math things. So an octagon, they cut all the sides off. Let's count and see how many sides it has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, octagon must have something to do with eight. Something to note. More detective clues. When the knight sat at the octagon table, each one wanted a side to all himself. All to himself. Eight sides and 12 knights. Who would have to share a side with another. They agreed the king should have a side all to himself because he was their later leader. But that left seven sides to 11 people. Knights, let there be order, said King Arthur calmly. We need to remember that we are here for the defense of our land. How can we talk at this table? With its problem of corners and sides, circumference, have the carpenter build a table shaped like an egg and perhaps then we will behave more like a flock. Okay, do you think that's going to solve it? So they've tried all the different corner edges, sharp edges. Not so far. What do you think about the egg? Hmm, do you think that will work? Get rid of the corner problem. Will it fix the other problem now? What is your prediction? Circumference threw up plans for an oval table for Geo. This table is going to be harder to build. Since it has no straight edges, said Geo, I will begin at once. When the knights met again, they were all impressed by the oval table. Sir Lancelot suggested that they raise their goblets and drink a toast. All of the knights raised their goblets, but there was a great commotion from the ends of the table. The knights at the end of the oval table bumped into the king as they raised their goblets. No one had enough room. Some of the knights began to argue. Then King Arthur shouted, Stop! All leave me until tomorrow except circumference. After talking to King Arthur, Circumference returned home discouraged once again. Radius piped up. Father, when I have a problem I can't solve, I do something else for a while. Why don't we go for a ride? That afternoon, Circumference, Radius, and Lady Di went riding. No one said much until Radius shouted, Father, look, a tree has fallen over. So it has, observed the knight. Don't you see, Father? There's your table. Lady Di got off her horse for a closer look. She stood on her toes and stretched her arm up as high as she could. Her fingertips just met the upper edge of the trunk. Lady Diameter. Remember we learned in the last adventure that was a math adventure? Diameter means all the way across a circle. It should be big enough, she said. This part is as tall as I can reach and the wood seems to be of good quality. Circumference summoned Geo to cut a cross section of the trunk to make into a tabletop. Leave the bark on the outside edge, he told Gio. I like its rough feel. Gio and his helpers sawed through the huge tree trunk, and then they hoisted the heavy slab into an ox cart, and off they went to Gio's workshop. Gio worked all night building the new table. 
The next time the nights met, the table was finished. Everyone was content. No one shouted or whispered. No one felt cornered or trapped. No one was poked on the stomach and no one felt squished. Everyone had an equal position around the table. As they talked, they decided the best plan was to try and make peace with their neighbors. King Arthur was so pleased that he announced they would celebrate that night. So that circle table, there's room for everyone. No trouble. We learned a lot about shapes along the way though, didn't we? Is that what you thought would happen? They would end up with a circle table? Was that your prediction? Everyone was enjoying the music, dancing and banquet when a messenger, messenger delivered a sealed parchment to King Arthur. The king read it and smiled. Ladies, knights, and guests, I have excellent news. The circumscribers are not planning an attack. They want only to measure the area of their kingdom. There will be peace in the land. Hooray, everyone cheered. So the king held up his hand for silence to honor these knights who gathered at this table in the interest of saving our kingdom. Let us henceforth be known as the Knights of the Round Table. Let us thank Sir Comfrance and Lady Di and their son, Radius. They made this round table possible. Everyone cheered again. Diameter, named after Lady Di, or Lady Di maybe, is named after Diameter. Furthermore, because Lady Di of Amateur has a reach that is equal to the distance across the table, we will name this measurement for her. We will call it the diameter. Oh, so this is like a tell about where the name diameter came from. That's fun. I am proud of Radius too, added King Arthur. Someday he will become a fine knight. He may be small, but he has tall ideas. Everyone nodded and clapped. Let us call this small measurement from the center of the circle to its edge, the radius. So if you measure from the center of a circle to the outside edge, it's always called the radius. That's fun that the little boys name that, huh? Finally, let us not forget our clever circumference. Since it was his idea to leave the bark on the outside edge of the table, we will name the outside edge of any circle after him. Let us call it the circumference. So when you hear about the circumference of something, it, it means the distance around the outside of a circle. Circumference bowed to the king as everyone rose from their seats and began cheering and whistling and stomping their feet. It was a happy celebration that anyone could remember. I think that that's a fun book because it uses lots of math words that could seem like kind of tricky or big or scary words. And it puts them into a fun story and we get to kind of like be detectives where we figure out what the different words might mean. And we learn about it as we go. Like we wondered about, huh, what does octagon mean? And we counted up the sides and we tried to think about it. And then, oh, it's a shape with eight sides. So it's kind of fun when you read, you can learn new things. And this math adventure definitely taught us some new math words.